Why do I not go to the market? And I realized a couple of things in this sort of mindful reflection um, about myself going to the market. Two things. One is that I'm a little bit afraid of the fish ladies in there. <laughs> yeah, you had a story about that once. Exactly. The, the lady who comes up to me and grabs me and, and sort of pushes me towards her fish stall and starts talking about 30 euros. And before I know it, she's hypnotized me and I'm walking out of there with a bag of fish and a 30 euros lighter in the pocket. And I, I, I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I would like some part in this. Um, Carl you know, going to the market. It was no, it, it was like that. So I sort of walked in, <laughs> like Homer Simpson, this you know, in the hedge, and um, and it's, it's there's a double dynamic because the first fish lady, I think, doesn't like me anymore because I used the second fish lady, uh. and she, she's the established fish lady of San Martino de Porto, and she's great, and I have bought fish from her. Uh, and and she, but we also noticed that she um, there's a, the, I'm assuming that there is an assumption about us being tourists and not locals, where she'll serve local people and keep us waiting. And like, okay, fair enough, I get it. You may you have to earn your stripes, and you know before you're truly um, served in a particular way, as though you were a local. Anyway, she, I'm I'm imagining in my head, and these this is what we do, isn't it? We imagine all these things. I'm imagining in so my head so much. Yeah, she doesn't like me anymore, and she never <laughs> liked me very much anyway. Because uh, um, why would anyone like you, Carl? Exactly, and I'm thinking, and you know, and yes, yes, yes I'm, I here I am trying to buy fish, but I'm so unlovable. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, she won't but, even take my money. But she might like me if I buy some fish from her. So all of, all of this is going on, isn't it? And <laughs> so I'm thinking, she's thinking she doesn't like me because I used the other lady. I'm now trying to avoid the other lady because I feel like she puts me through some sort of hypnotic fish selling process. Um, and you with, leave traumatized. Yeah. So I walked into the, yeah, but with lots of love, lovely fish, it has to yes. be said. Traumatized, but with bag of fish. Um, so I walk into the market. The, the two fish ladies are over to the left in the wet fish area. And there are a couple of other people selling, you know, um, crustaceans and other things there and bacalhau. So it's really good Saturday morning in the market. And I, I realize all of this is kicking in. Oh, my God. Fish witch lady is going to come and hypnotize me. That one doesn't like me. Um, I know. I'll just turn right and go and look at the fruit and veg. <laughs> Swing a right into the market and hope I haven't been seen by, by the fish lady. Um, Could be considered then, a healthy choice. Well, yeah, but I don't want to feel like that in the market. I don't want all of that no. going on. I mean, I'm saying to people, like, I love Portugal, love the experiences of Portugal. Go to the local market. You'll have fun. You'll learn Portuguese. And as inside, long as you have places to hide. Yes, that's right. As long as you've developed a coping strategy and it's not triggered off, you know, hundreds of childhood memories. So the, the, how I want it to be in the meme is like, this is me at the Portuguese market on a Saturday, skipping through, buying things, talking in Portuguese to people. Hola, bom dia. <laughs> you know, waving. Hi, they know me here. Yeah, so those memes that say what I do, what exactly. people think I do, what I yeah. think I do. <laughs> yes, it's exactly perfect. one of those memes. Uh, and what, and, and the, the, what people think I do in the market is go through, go, but I'm uh, only here. You know. <laughs> um, um pepino, faz favor, obrigado. <laughs> 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 semana. And it's all like, you know, there's music playing in the background and I'm skipping through it or in slow motion through the market. You don't really? do that? Oh, no, my. you're really, gonna shatter my idea of what you do. In the other part, in the other part of the meme, I am like, I'm walking through the. What market. I do, yes. I'm walking through the market. I'm hoping that the fish lady's not. Don't talk to me. That's right, and then and then I think, yeah, talk to me. I'm gonna assert myself this week. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And then I, and then I disappear and hide among the big cabbages and stuff. And then, and then I, another thing kicks in as I'm walking around. It's like, oh, my God, who am I going to offend by not buying from them? <laughs> Do you have this at the market? Who am I going to? No, no you I, I'm a people pleaser, but not to your degree. Well, I am. A, I am. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, hold on a bit. We've been interrupted by, she was only a Portuguese fishing manga, but she used to love, love to lay on the slum and shout, fill it. <laughs> oh, please. Uh, it won't be the first time. <laughs> Will you pack it in, ancient mariner? <laughs> I'm with my psychotherapist here, just trying to work through this. Right. I'm loving the story, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm hiding in among the fruit and veg. 
um, the taller the better for these purposes. And now I'm thinking to myself, who am I going to offend? A by hint, that? by the way, hiding oh. in the melons helps because they're the basically head size. Yes, they're harder to it, see. If you're and it can cheer melons. you up, can it? It lends itself to a Benny Hill sketch as, yes. you stand, as you stand up and have two massive melons in front of you, and just your head is appearing. Uh, yeah, it brings a whole other meaning to melon. Yes, it's the a, other meaning. Yes. Yeah, and, and and that can you know that can use humour to now alleviate this somewhat difficult situation. Uh -huh. However, that wasn't happening. I didn't get my hands on any melons uh, on Saturday. Oh yes, I did, but not in the market. Well, hey, <laughs> okay. Um, I, so where was Overshare. I? <laughs> I'm, behind, I'm behind the fruit and veg and I'm walking around at the back of the market avoiding the two fish ladies and eye contact I think and eye contact with other women now who are looking at me who if I look up are going to say bon dia and I'm going to feel bad that I'm not buying anything from their store and they're going to be looking at you going oh here's that guy who tries to buy stuff from us and we don't like him yes that is going on as well <laughs> Or when in fact, actual fact, they are probably just thinking to themselves, what am I going to cook tonight? Did I, get that, did I get that meat out of the freezer? Does my husband love me? Whatever. All he's he not... telling me what he wants. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but first, so what happens? I get eye contact. Uh, I... <laughs> yep. Yeah, it, it, it's... You're gone. I... You're yeah, gone. <laughs> I'm a goner. And I think, oh, a la bon dia. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Okay, well, those beans look okay. I'll buy the beans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and, and just don't of... spill them. Sorry. <laughs> yes, no, 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 not... they weren't these kind, James. They were, they, <laughs> they were, they were, um, well verde on you know, string, string beans, mm -hmm. and lovely, lovely beans. But and I'm getting into my rhythm. I think, okay, I'm committed now to this lady. This stuff looks okay. And all of this is going on. And, I, and behind me, I'm thinking I can feel the penetrating gaze of a fish lady because she's probably seen me now. And Burning be, through the back of your head. Exactly. She'll be going to smell of singeing <laughs> penetration. Oh, who does? I don't like that smell first thing in the <laughs> and morning. And then coming out your eyes. That's right. And the lady say, am I? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and change, you know, change the subject, buy some beans. Buy, and uh, so, yeah, what the first store, I'm thinking now I'm Anthony Bourdain. I've got into my rhythm. I'm buying things. I am I am grabbing the bags, filling bags up, putting them on there where I know she can pick them up and weigh them and writing down the things. And I'm suddenly feeling like I'm in a documentary again and things are going my way. I, I am now acing it at the market. Hmm, you know, the plums look pretty good. They they look very seasonal and plump and tasty. I'll have and some. You of can them. hear the narration of your scene in your head. Exactly. You know me and humans mm -hmm. so well, James. Um, and I, uh, you know, I pay with I pay, I part with my cash, I get my bag. At stuff. this point, I'm thinking, I wonder how much this will cost. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> and realizing that Portugal is really very good value with all of these. Look at this beautiful array of fruit and vegetables that I've managed to purchase here. Um, well, with all locally sourced, so much fresher. That's right. And then I'll say, muito obrigado, bom fim de semana, to the lady behind the counter. Igualmente, as I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, you know, the insecurity comes in again. I'm like, well, I better go see the lady I normally go to see and buy some stuff off her, because if I don't, she'll think something's wrong. <laughs> So and she'll at, hate you. Oh, yes, man, you're making so many enemies at the market. <laughs> That's right. So then I am, and I buy some more stuff from this lady, and, and that goes that goes well. And I'm, you know, and I'm in and out of documentary mode. Anthony Bourdain, one minute, Woody Allen, or whoever the next. Hide it and is, seek. It, it is Woody Allen at his best, isn't it? That sort of the voiceover <laughs> of Woody Allen. Uh -huh. God, I think she hates me. Well, you know, I should buy some vegetables here because, oh my God, I'm, I'm beginning to feel quite hated. But I don't even like these vegetables. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I'll so, have these, please. <laughs> switching between Bourdain and Alan as I'm making my way oh, around. What a scene. <laughs> and then, of course, I, I, I'm thinking to myself, I want fish. I came here to buy fish. <laughs> I, I want can't... fish, but I can't go to the fish place. <laughs> Yes. I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> but no, but then I have an Anthony Bourdain moment, buoyed up and g'd up by his production team, who are saying, "Tony, you go buy the fish. This is going to make great TV." That's what we came here for. Exactly. You can't wuss out now, Tony. It's got to be done. So I, put, I put, take a deep breath and I summon up the spirit of Anthony Bourdain and make my way over to the fish counter. And right enough, she comes alongside me. She kind of appears out of nowhere. 
Um, what's that? Poor taste is the issue, but I still love you. Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. Um, uh, now, uh, and is that someone else who hates me? It's, oh no, <laughs> okay, right. everyone hates me. <laughs> okay, so I'm standing, I'm standing at um, at the um, l looking. Uh, I've so I've, I've walked past established fish lady who I know doesn't like me and never did. Okay, so that's a write off, not you, not hypno fish lady. Not, uh, but hypno fish lady suddenly appears by my side, which is what she does. You just, you just it's magic. She, she's right, comes from behind you, and she's standing on my left side, and I feel her her hand holding my bicep, bicep. Bon dia. Exactly, she's whispering in my ear, and something about thirty euros, and I'm like, now, and I I step into this, and I'm thinking we're gonna we're gonna do something here, and this is the big breakthrough now. I say now turistico. You know, I'm not a tourist, and I'm not paying thirty. Um, I'm saying, you know, a, a conto about this. Now particular. she's really in love with you. Now I, I can think tell. I think she at that point began to respect me, and our relationship changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. She wasn't able to do her full. I, I was, I, you know, she I, only I, got twenty out of you. I heard you say, "Good job." Yes. Hold That's on, a thirty percent reduction. <laughs> I still don't know if I'm better off. Well, I feel better. Well, I am better off because I did, you know, I got more fish for less money. Uh -huh. But I and I'm pleased with the way I handled myself in that interaction of you saying I'm not a tourist. I want that piece of fish there, not what you're going to suddenly fill a bag up with and ask me for thirty euros for. Because it's getting old and she needs to get it off. Out of exactly. Her I want that guy there. How much is that guy? Fifteen for for a rabalo. Um. So, oh, morning to you, Antonio. He's here. Um, yes, this is not the locker room, uh, Pete. Uh, you, you're being asked to withdraw there, Pete. Oh my God, so never far away from innuendo, are we? Um, and good morning to you, uh, Antonio. Um, so um, I want that one, and then she starts. To, she, okay, do you want this dorada as well? I'll do the dorada. You can have the dorada as well for twenty. And we're doing this in Portuguese. It's great. And and um, by the end of it, James. Uh, I've established myself. I'm not, she said, to, I haven't seen you in August. And I, I said, you know, the best thing I can think of to say why I haven't been there in August is mucho trabajo. I've been busy working. And she's like, <laughs> As opposed to I've been avoiding you. That's probably I a good know, choice. I, I don't know how to say that in Portuguese. I'm really afraid of you <laughs> and that you will make me spend more than I want to on fish. That is quite an elaborate uh, uh, sentence to, to construct, isn't it? So I yeah, just said, I've absolutely. Been, and now thinking about it, how many lies do people say because they've only got a certain amount of vocabulary? <laughs> they have to make an excuse in Portuguese, which is not true, but it's the best they can do. They, okay, let's not go off on that tangent. Let's go back to the Rabalo, which I got. It was a big fella. Um, it, they're, they eat a big fish. Uh, they don't look it <laughs> whilst they're there on the countertop. Um, but I got, my, I got my Rabalo that I wanted. Beautiful, fresh, as you can see there. Lovely, clean bit of fish. The Dorado she threw in, we haggled, um, and that was 20. And do you know what? By the end of it, she threw in the carapal as well. She she cleaned and gutted that, almost like blindfolded with one hand. <laughs> That's right. There it was. Guts flying. <laughs> she missed the bit about um, uh, Podzir, you know, para me uh, gatos, uh, gatos. Can I have that for my cat? I think she thought I was joking, or maybe that's a Portuguese aphorism that you're not meant to be uttering to a lady in a, in a market. Um, can I have that for my cat? That doesn't seem too inoffensive, does it? Um, well, I can imply it's lousy fish. I, I didn't. I didn't get the innards, but there she was. We came. I felt like we came to because I tried. I came out of my discomfort zone, as it turns out, I, and I wanted. I, I you know manfully took it by the proverbials and said okay i want to come to this market i love coming to the market and i can't let this stop me and mm -hmm. that is my mindful migration monday share with you i've taken up all your slot telling you about myself <laughs> and my i was fears. listening mostly Am I in? yes yeah i know and you were working on material at other times <laughs> in the conversation weren't you yeah. i think as well but it was it was i would urge people to if you've had a, you know, like that meme, I love going to the market. But what I realized was I didn't. I stopped liking going to the market because of my difficulties there. And I pushed through on Saturday morning and pushed through. And that, that there ends the tale of the three fish. Um, so there you go.
Lovely story. I, that was a great entertainment. I had a lot of fun with that too, by the way. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so yes. glad.